Hello everyone, my name is Esper and welcome to my new let's play of the game Gothic. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the best RPG games out there. And uh, obviously this let's play is not going to be blind. I'm going to know what I'm doing, as well as try and help those of you who want to play this game as well. Now, first of all, if you have purchased this game on Steam, you must turn off the Steam overlay, because if you, if you leave it on, starting a new game will crash Gothic. Uh, also, I recommend you to check this settings menu. Now, in the graphics options, there is a visual range. Now, this option can be raised up to 300%. It's uh, not 100 maximum, so keep that in mind. Also, uh, in the keyboard mapping, uh, there are two default preset settings. Now, the first one is uh, from the 90s when the WASD uh, key mapping wasn't popular. So, I don't uh, recommend you using that, nobody uses that. So, the second one is your default or loved WASD option, but uh, in this configuration, I recommend you swapping your weapons and jumping buttons. So weapons should be your left or right alt, while jumping should be space. Now, also, you should know that strafing is in this game is also weird. When you strafe, it completely blocks your forward or backward movements, so it is not comfortable to strafe in this game. You'd better off turning your left or right your character when you press A and D, so uh, you should change this as well. So Q and D e are your strafe buttons. So this should be it. After that, and some other settings changes that you may uh, do yourself, you can start a new game, so let's do this. I'm pretty excited, there's going to be a cutscene. The kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar II. So there you go, the lore of the game. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. Orcs. Yep. So there are two races in this game, that's orcs and humans. There are no elves or other weird creatures. Well, there are weird creatures in this game, but they are not intelligent. And this guy was just at war naked. Yep. The war against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. That was a good idea, was but... One of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. Yeah. We were trapped inside our own barrier. Sucks to be them. One second of negligence. Dude, there's a guy behind you. Enough yep. for the prisoners. Too late. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier. And this sucks to be this girl as well. Well, she's not coming back. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. Hey, he know, and this is the main hero. He would change everything. In the name of King Robar, the we're going to play as him. Of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to stop. Convict, I've got an offer to make you. 
This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Yolo. Water physics. Amazing. Now this guy. This is bullet, and I Welcome hate him. To the colony. That's why. That's enough. Leave it and alone. here goes Diego. And now scrap. Hello. Get up. Okay. I'm Diego. I'm. I'm not interested in who you are. So there you go. That's how it all started. Now this guy is really important. His name is Diego, and he is the first one you meet in game. And he tells you basic stuff. Pretty much, he tells you about the fact that there are three camps in the colony, and uh, how to get to the old camp, and where to find your first weapon. And I know all that, and I'm going to show you uh, all that stuff. And if you ask him why did he help you, he basically tells you that he's a good guy and he also suggests you to join uh, one of the camps. He also tells you that Bullet is in the old camp. And if you tell him about the letter to the mages, uh, he says that uh, I shouldn't tell this to everyone because anyone would like to uh, kill me for this letter. And that the mages I'm looking for uh, are in the old camp, actually, with Gomez. Now, Gomez is or Baron. Uh, he's basically the richest, the main guy in the old camp. And also, Diego gives you a quest of joining the old camp. So, new journal entry added. And that's it. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. <laughs> Alright, chapter 1, welcome to the colony. Now, this game is known for its weird controls, so to pick up items in this game uh, you must hold down your action key, which is uh, either uh, your control key or left mouse button, and then press forward to pick up this torch, and uh, then there are some items in here, some beer and an ore nugget. Now, uh, coins have no value in this place, and the currency in the colony is uh, ore nuggets, so keep that in mind. Also, uh, the whole place is covered by the magic, magical barrier. Now, you cannot see it at the moment, but it is there, so as you can see, if I get closer to this place, uh, there are some blue particles all over my uh, main character. This means that if I get any closer, uh, my character will instantly die, so you shouldn't do that. And that's all over here, so let's move on. Now there are these guys. So uh, to climb up ladders, you hold your action key as well and press W or S to climb up or down. And here's, here is Ori. Now, talk, to talk to people, you also hold the action key and press forward. And this guy is pretty much guarding the exchange place that we came from. And uh, he asks uh, me if I talked to Diego or not. And I did, so he gets happy and. Uh, in a nutshell, guys from the old camp don't like guys from the new camp, and vice versa, so uh, this guy is all up for his old camp and how good it is. And he also says that trading women in this place is a thing, because the colony is full of criminals. And that there is a pickaxe uh, in the mines nearby as a weapon. You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece. Thank you. And there is a nameless guard. How's it going? 
Good, none of the rogues from the new camp are to be seen anywhere. So yeah. So you can jump out of this place from here. Uh, there is actually fall damage in this game, but uh, it isn't high enough for it to happen. There are some blueberries and there are a couple of meat bugs in here, so it's a good place to explain you the combat system. Now to enter a combat mode you either press your weapons key, which is ALT, or you can press, press 1 on your keyboard, which is your melee weapon slot. And then you make sure meat bug is uh, selected and then you hold down your action key and press forward to punch. So you punch the bug. And then you access the, this uh, inventory the same way you pick up items and talk to people. And here is an inventory interface. So to your left uh, is uh, the creature's inventory. So you can see some bug meat in it. And to your right is uh, your inventory. So to transfer this item into my inventory I've got to press the action key and then press right. Or D. And there you go. And then you hit escape to close the inventory. And that's it. Then you punch the other bug. Face. And still it's meat as well. Next, there are some blueberries. I pick them up. There's an arrow in a plank. A tumbler. And a chest. Now chests are the same way as well. You hold the action key to get to them and then you press forward to open them. And it's the same uh, inventory principle. So I hold action key and then hold my uh, right key to grab everything from it. And then you press uh, S to close the chest. And that's it. Then there are some more blueberries in this place and there is a pickaxe your first weapon now to equip a weapon you press tab to access your inventory and then you can scroll through your categories of items by pressing left and right so there are miscellaneous writings potions food artifacts magic armor and weapons now in this weapon slot, to uh, equip a pickaxe, you hold your left mouse button and click forward, and you have it equipped. You can press tab or escape again to close your inventory, and then if you press 1, uh, the hero drags out the pickaxe, and then you can swing it the same way as you punched, but now, uh, when you actually have a weapon, in your hand. You can also press left or right to swing your pickaxe left or right. So this uh, brings up a new mechanic of uh, timing your attacks so you can attack uh, one after another. For example, if you don't do that, then you get a small penalty and you cannot attack for a while. And basically uh, the more you improve your attack with two-handed or one-handed weapons, the more, uh, the longer you can get your combo. Well, I think it's time to end the episode here. So you can see the old camp in the distance. It's that castle over there. And uh, one more tip in this episode is to save a lot. Actually, saving is your best option in this game. It will help you out a lot. So I have already have some saves ready. I'm just going to rewrite run one of them. There you go. So thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.